Mike A. Moore, 7 News. A Flinders University doctor's developed a cutting-edge range of simulated medical tools to help train staff and students. They're a cheaper alternative to current devices and are controlled with the swipe of a finger. Simulations are a vital training method for medical staff and students. Mr Smith? Mr Smith? Can you hear me, Mr Smith? He stopped responding there. But they're also expensive. Mannequins alone carry a hefty price tag. Anywhere from a few thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars. In need of a cheaper alternative, yeah. Dr Carl Sprick began developing a new oh, range maybe. of tools with help from Flinders Uni and the state government. We wanted to take the idea of the, the mannequins and convert them into a form that could be usable with uh, an actor as playing a part of the patient. Um, so we can provide the information about the, the patient um, without having to use one of the fancy expensive mannequins. The result, SIM tools digitally simulated medical devices. They're controlled wirelessly through Bluetooth and allow teachers and assessors to create various scenarios. The same way that the real medical devices work, except that they get simulated information um, instead of actual measurements from the patient. The sim tools can be used on people and existing mannequins, making training medical staff cheaper and more effective allows us to increase fidelity and increase realism um, without having to put um, either students or patients at risk. Here in the lab we can simulate 20 patients in one afternoon, all with different conditions. The devices have been so successful, there are now plans to launch them into the market. So now with the advent of tablets, computers and, and touch computers and phones, um, we're able to um, uh, have much more widespread use. We're uh, hoping to commercialise and get these out in the market in the next few years. Gertie Taylor,